Hello everyone, welcome to Automators Industrial Projects. In the last lesson, we have seen about the types of addressing that is immediate addressing, direct addressing and memory indirect addressing. And in today's lesson that is part two, we will check about in area internal register indirect addressing and area crossing register indirect addressing. So before starting about the address registers, we just have a short look about the part one that is memory indirect addressing and then we move to address registers. So let's see, as I explained you, immediate addressing in this, the address is coded directly in this instruction. For example, integer 27 is loaded to accumulator one with load instruction. Accumulator is a, is a register uh, in ST language, but I will explain you about, uh, in, uh, about accumulators in detail in the coming classes. And uh, direct addressing in this, we use the address identifier to point the location. For example, A input 10.0, we are uh, directly pointing to the location I 10.0. Similarly, with the help of IB, that is address, identif ad address identifier, we are pointing and MW64. So memory indirect addressing, again, it's divided into two formats. One is word format and the other is double word format. In word format, the bit 0 to 15, we are using this number range for timers, counters, FB, DB, FC numbers. So you see the number 3 is loaded into the accumulator 1 and it is transferred to MW10. And we are opening the DB with the indirect addressing MW10, which can be dynamically changed, which is the advantage. And moving to the double word format, the additional stuff is that in this we use the byte of word, double word, to point the location. So coming to part two, that is address register. I, these are again divided in area internal register indirect addressing and area crossing register indirect addressing. So I have also explained in detail with the example actually area internal register indirect addressing is also a type of memory indirect addressing which allows a memory location to determine or point the identifier so you see here this is the pointer p hash 0 0.7 we are loading this into the accumulator 1 this 0.7 we have loaded into the accumulator 1 l a o r 1 register 1 and then we are making an AND and opening with the input p hat 0, 0.0 and q ar1 p hash 1.1 that means we are adding the p hat 0.7 that is ar1 with the offset 0, 0.0 that means here the input becomes i 0, 0.0 plus 0, 0.7 that is i 0, 0.7 and output 0. 7 plus 1.1 so this becomes you see here if when I make input 0 0.7 input 0 0.7 high the output is also getting high that is 2.0 how the output is coming 2.0 here I will explain you in the excel sheet here if you if you see first p hash 0 0.7 is loaded into ar1 so in the ar1 we have in the ar1 we have 0.7 value we are adding with the offset p hash we are adding with the offset p hash 0, 0.0 that means the total value will be 0 0.7 so i 0 0.7 is the um, value now and is the sorry address identifier with i 0 0.7 is equal to q ar1 p hash 1.1 so ar1 ar1 we have the value 0 0.7 and again we are adding the offset 1.1 so here i have already done the see so 0 0.7 plus 1.1 it is 0 plus 1 
the 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 byte and 0 0.7 and here 7 plus 1 equal to 8 bits so total 1 byte plus 1 byte is equal to 2 bytes 0 0.7 plus 1.1 that is 7 plus 1 8 and 1 plus 0 is 1 byte 8 bits is 1 byte again so is equal to 2 bytes hope you guys understand i know it's, it's a bit confusing but it's just a simple addition that we are adding and converting it into bytes so so similarly if you see p has 0 0.7 and p hash 1.2 that is 0 plus 1 equal to 1 byte and 7 plus 2 is 9 bits so 1 byte plus 1 bit is equal to 2.1 so when you add two pointers 0 0.7 and 1.2 the total pointing location is 2.1 so in, in so when i make i 0 0.7 high the output q 2.0 is coming or set to high because a i 0 0.7 is equal to q 0.2.0 uh, similarly area crossing register indirect addressing in this it is similar to area internal register indirect address and the only thing is here in the pointer we are adding the memory location to the address register so that means memory location with the pointer plus the address register we are adding this is the only difference so here now the in ar1 we we have 0 0.7 plus offset 0, 0.0 so it turns 2.7 in address register 1.7 equal to ar2 p hash 1.2 sorry 0 0.7 plus 1.2 i have already done the addition here it, it's equal to 2.1 so let's simulate again you see when i make 0 0.7 so 2.1 is also going low i make it high so 2.1 is also getting high so this is the accumulator 2 this is accumulator 1 so p hash 0 point is the pointer and ar ar1 is the address register so here we are adding the ar1 with the offset p hash 0 0.7 uh, 0, 0.0 so 0, 0.0 plus 0, 0.7 is equal to 0, 0.7 so ai 0 0.7 equal to q ar1 1.1 plus 0.7 so this is 2.0 so this is how we have to add the offset to get to the memory location and this was all about the types of registers in the coming class i will explain you in about the accumulators and so on in detail thank you for watching this video please do like and subscribe